Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk a little Zion Oil and Gas. And since they most likely won't update us this week, I'm going to give you a little update on our interaction between myself and them earlier in the week, as well as cover some past information about a class action lawsuit, uh, what the result was from it, kind of what may have kind of stemmed the cause of it and things of that nature. Uh, so real quick, guys, if you find value in today's video, smash the thumbs up button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel and you do enjoy our content, Consider subscribing. We talk about Zion Oil and Gas, obviously, but also cover a lot of other stocks. We go over the technical analysis of those stocks. I try to give you any type of press releases from those stocks in a timely manner. I do my best to post on a daily basis and also sometimes post multiple videos a day. For example, this is my third one for the day. So, all right, guys, so let's kind of get on into it. So, this is off of Stock Twits, and this was posted. Uh, this was from 2018. It says, according to the lawsuit, defendants during the class action period or class period made materially false and or misleading statements and or failed to disclose that one, Zion was either already or was likely to soon be uh, become the subject of an SEC investigation. And two, as a result, Zion's public statements were materially false and misleading at all relevant times. When the true details entered the market, the lawsuit claims that the investors suffered damages. A class action lawsuit had been filed, has already been filed. If you wish to serve as a lead plaintiff, you must move to the court no later than October 9th, 2018. And then blah, 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 blah. Okay. So this was filed in 2018. Um, back in, I think it was April or March of 2018, they had a press release, which I'm going to link in the description below. That was um, compared to what we get now, like super detailed. I mean, it had all kind of information in there, and I was like, "This is crazy!" Like, like this is what you got back in 2018. No, no wonder it went to four or five dollars if they gave out information like this. But um, based off of that, I think maybe this that may have been um, what stemmed the class action lawsuit because they may have said something that saw something in there that was misleading. But I know that in the PR they said that he actually found oil. Okay, so that's a positive thing for me. They're saying they came they came in contact with oil. That's a, that's a good thing. But there's a lot of talk I know on my my comment section on Zion videos about people wanting to that we should file a class action lawsuit. And then on StockTwits a lot of uh, talk on there as well. Uh, but this this class action lawsuit has already been taken care of. It's uh, Zion one uh, got dismissed, and someone even mentioned that there were three of them. And all three were dismissed. So that's not something to necessarily worry about at this point. Um, could it happen again? Yes, absolutely. Someone can file another one against them if they feel like they've been misleading. But if you think about it, it's probably the reason why they won't say anything too detailed uh, because they don't want to get sued again. They don't want to come off as misleading, which is why they're always like, we're not going to release anything unless it's fully material information, right? So anyway, so I reached out to them this week and asked them a couple of questions. I want to go through that, and I'm going to go through the response that they gave me and the result from our conversation. So guys, this was submitted, you see here, at 9 2021. I sent this at 5.23 a.m., and I went on and said, good morning. I hope this email finds you okay. I would like to reach out and see if this can be passed on to management and request a reply. I said, one, I'm asking for some sort of update on the current progress of drilling. I know that we are continuing operations, but what does that mean? Can you issue a statement actually letting us know the depth? Are we in section three still? There's no, there's so much confusion and negative speculation online, but I think this would help ease a lot of people's minds. I know you can't tell me directly, but I'm requesting just, uh, just one to the public in general. If not, is there a we reason why there hasn't been an update on the depth as of late? At the beginning of the year, I felt like communication was great, and all of a sudden, we hit a standstill. Uh, second one, I said, before, I've reached out to you before and told you this as uh, an investor relations, but on your Twitter page, it still shows that you're listed under the NASDAQ uh, as ticker symbol ZN. While it sounds small, this is just another thing I see popping up in the chat rooms or comments from followers that makes them uneasy that this hasn't been updated since the change to the OTC market. Maybe people are looking on NASDAQ to invest and can't because the EN isn't even active on there. Or maybe as a potential investor, I see your page isn't updated and it turns me away. Uh, so that actually got taken care of that uh, that day. It's it's actually on Twitter 
has been changed to the OTC, back to the OTC markets. So that's cool. Um, you guys clearly stated that your license is active until December 2nd in your annual shareholder meeting. I know you guys are in contact with the ministry very consistently, but in the next update, if you can provide some feedback on the status and potential for an extension, that would be great. But overall, I'm hoping that you can get some sort of update to help ease everyone's minds and end some of this negative speculation floating around. While I have not been investing for 20 years like some individuals, I have been investing, invested and continue for the past year. So I'm hoping that a reply can be sent to me and the company can update all of the investors soon. So uh, like I said, I've got the thing on Twitter fixed and then um, here's the response that I got from Ben uh, several hours later. It says, thank you for writing. While we are not at liberty to disclose any information in private that has not already been public, I still wanted to reach out. We are continuing with operations as per our last update here, and that's the one from August 23rd. Is any information available has has been and will be released by the company. If there are anyone online that claim to know more, they're either admitting to insider trading or they're lying. It has been less than a month since our last update and management was very clear that no information would be given except what was material. I will be sure to pass this on to management that the information is requested. Thank you for bringing the awareness to the Twitter page to be updated. If you have any other concerns, you can feel free to call or email. Ben's like, back off, back up off me, bro. I don't want to hear it. He probably gets probably like 50 emails like this a day. Um, so I feel for the guy for sure. But I really do appreciate him because he does always reply in a pretty timely manner to me. So, so uh, realistically, a, an update this week, probably not going to happen. Um, if we do, tomorrow would be a good day, though. And usually on Monday and Thursdays is whenever they come out with some uh, updates or PRs and stuff. So speaking of like the last update, if we want to take a look at that, just to kind of uh, refresh everyone's mind, it says, uh, we know many of you look forward to uh, each update on the MJ2 and uh, the project with either eager anticipation as you walk alongside us this journey. There have been hurdles along the way, including increased COVID regulation, delays, interruption and operations while we await specific order components needed for our modified drill plan. But we can thankfully confirm that drilling is now proceeding effectively on all fronts of our updated plan. Uh, we have faced no serious security concerns to date despite continuing unrest in the region. Our crew remains both safe and unhindered in their exceptional work. We appreciate all of your continued prayers. As always, we, <clears throat> we are ever thankful to our loyal shareholders and supporters. We will continue to provide updates when we have relevant information to share. So there you go. Um, you know, feels like we're beating a dead horse and we keep saying the same thing, but they're not going to say anything unless they have anything. So this uh, stock price could potentially keep coming down, maybe to 15 cents, maybe below 15 cents. But one thing's for sure, if they ever do have relevant and good information that this thing can fly and can fly in a hurry. But again, we're just kind of waiting it out. So with that being said, uh, there's there are people that are day trading this thing and, and making some money. I mean, they, you know, you, you know how the stock moves on a daily basis. You can actually make some pretty decent money off of it if you can time it and get the pattern down, right? I know that some people are, uh, I, you know, I check in on stock twits a couple of times a day just to kind of read some of the comments and stuff because some of them are actually quite entertaining <laughs> because uh, there's some funny people out there that like to go on the boards. And things. But uh, for those of you who, you know, are invested for the longer term, um, you know, I'm there with you, man. I'm I'm down just like you, and um, maybe buying some more soon. But I, at the same time, I'm kind of, um, you know, a little hesitant because I want to see something else come out as far as, you know, like a little bit more uh, information on what they're doing. I mean, I have a sizable amount of shares, so I'm not too concerned, you know, about oh missing out on, you know, a big return. You know, if it does spike up, so. Uh, but I am considering, I'm just watching and consider maybe nibbling down at, you know, 20 cents or below, or if it drops down to 15 cents. I really feel like if we don't get anything tomorrow, that we'll get down to 15 cents by Friday. And um, that's just kind of like a personal gut feeling. I have absolutely no um, tangible information that's going to uh, prove my, my thesis here. I'm just kind of like 
assuming that it's going to continue to go down if they don't have anything uh, come out. So, uh, so anyway, I, I'm sure I'll get a bunch of people on the comments that'll, you know, troll me and say that Zion sucks or whatever, whatever. So go ahead, you know, do your thing. But uh, for those of you who are still in it, uh, just know that we're one positive update or PR away from this thing starting to take off because we know that it could move. So I just wanted to provide that uh, that information that I had in interaction with them this week. Other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video. And if you enjoy our content, of course, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. Other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.